بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. So inshallah we are now moving on to al-amr. So let me let me explain what's happening here. He says here, وبعد الفراغ من الأقسام العشرين. After completing the twenty kisms, we had the four taqsim, and each of them had four. Number three had eight, so it became twenty. So after this, after completing the four taqsim and the twenty names and the twenty mustalahat. نذكر شيئا من متعلقاتها. We're going to mention some particular rules regarding khas, some regarding hakika, some regarding majaz. Do you understand? So what happens in other books is that between between these twenty, they go they digress onto amr, for example, and amr goes well far away and then it comes back. So sometimes the flow breaks off. So what he's done, he's brought all of the 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 terms, he's mentioned them very briefly. For example, the hukam, and now he's going to digress into not digress. Now he's going to go on and say, "Well, we finish all fourteen. Let me tell you something about khas." So, wa min al khasi al amru wa nahiyu. Khas, you also have the word. You have the amar and the nahi. So, why is why is khas discussed in amar and nahi? Because it can be discussed in amar and nahi. It can also be discussed. Sorry, amar can be discussed in khas and khas, and it can also be discussed in hakik and majaz. Why? When you say here, it's an amr. If I said, for example, uh, ishrab, ishrab. So then, ishrab literally means if al. It means here if al ashurba, if al ashurba. That's what it means. If al ashurba, and the word shurba has a known meaning. This word is khas. You following? So therefore, this comes under discussion of khas. Similarly, we can also discuss this in hak in hakika and majaz because if al, the hakiki meaning of if al is wujub, it is necessary to carry it out. So whenever a person in authority tells you to do something, it becomes binding upon you to carry this action out. If you do not do so, then you are you count it as an asi. That's how the Arabic language works. If somebody is an authority, your father, your 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 maula, your owner, your master, whoever's an authority tells you to do something, if you carry that out, your muti. If you don't carry it out, you call asi. So the the original ruling, hakiki meaning of if al is wujub, that's a hakiki meaning. And then you can have the majazi meaning. It's not wujub. It's ibaha, permissibility or recommendation. That's a majaz meaning. So in amr, you can discuss it in different aspects. One is the meaning of the uh, the ma'amur bihi. Correct. So this is the ma'amur bihi, the thing you're told to do. This is the ma'amur bihi, the thing you're told to do. You're told to do shurm. That's a ma'amur bihi. So that has a khas meaning. And then the siga can have hakiki meaning and majaz meaning. So he's going to discuss Amr and Nahi in um, Khas. So he said, we finish all the 20. Now let's subtract, let's, let's go back to Taqseem al-Awwal again. Taqseem al-Awwal and let's discuss the Khas. And amongst the Khas, we have Al-Amr wa Nahi. So if you look at it here, we have Al-Khas. And under Khas, we're going to have these discussions. So you're going back to Taqseem al-Awwal again. And we're going to discuss Amr, Nahi, Al-Nahyu, Al-Mutlaq, and Al-Muqayyad. That's spelled wrong. Al-Muqayyad. Correct? So we're going to have four discussions coming up, and these are all to do with khas. Okay? So we're in a khas of al-amr. What is amr? Fal-amru lughatan. In the lugha, linguistically, the word amr is qawlu al-qa'ili li ghayrihi ala sabili li isti'la'i if'al. Is somebody saying, qawlu al-qa'ili, someone saying li ghayrihi to another person, ala sabili li isti'la'i. Literally means on the path of authority, meaning in an authoritative manner. So if a person who's an authority, he says to somebody as if al, that is an amr. That's what it means a lot of time. What's tilahan in lugha and in the istila of Islam and istila of usul al-fiqh? It means ilzam al-fa'li ala al-ghayr. It means to make an action binding upon somebody else. What does it mean? To make an action binding upon somebody else. That's what you call amr. For example, wa'aqimu salah, wa'atu zakah. These are amr, seeg of amr. They make salah and they make performing salah. And giving zakah, binding upon the abd. Does everybody understand that? Wa hukmuhu, what's the hukam of an amr? Mujabu al-amr al-mutlaq al-wujubu. So this is a mutra, this is a khabar. If you have an amr mutlaq, meaning there's no other qareena, there's no other context to tell you it's maja, it's a recommendation, it's a suggestion. If you don't have any of these things, you simply have an amr mutlaq. An amr without any context is for wujub. And if you have 
an amr with a context illa idha qama dalilu ala khilafihi so the mujab the requirement the requirement or you can say the thing that amr mutlaq necessitates mujab that which is necessitated so that which is necessitated by amr mutlaq is wujub meaning the action must be carried out Unless there is any type of evidence, uh, karina, context to show it's not for wujub. Okay? What is nahi? We're going to go to nahi later on in more detail. But he's going to discuss the definition of amr and nahi. Then we'll come back to amr and discuss all of amr. So when nahyu lughatan qawlul qa'il li ghaylihi ala sabili li sti'la la taf'al. I'm going to translate that. Wa sti'lahan ilzamu to make leaving an action binding because of this nahi abstaining from zina becomes binding upon the mukhatab okay hukmuhu mujabun nahi al mutlaq wujubul imtina meaning what it is compulsory to abstain from the nahi illa idha qamat dalilu ala khilafihi unless there is an evidence against it to say it's not for Hurma is not for uh, imtina, but it's for recommendation on all of those things within the Rusul Balaqa. Understood? So you have Amar and we have Nahi. We discussed those. And then inshallah we'll go on to uh, the rules of Amar and the rules of Nahi in the next lesson inshallah. Everyone you've heard following? Okay, subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Allah shadda la ilaha illa anta. Wa nastaghfirika wa natubi ilayk.